I have a feeling that once the iPhone 13 finally does come out, I won't even want one. Want tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications if you're sitting on the toilet right now. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT, Fapata, the show that gives you all it is tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Happy Friday, or not. Uh, I just got done expressing my dog's anal glands. And if you don't know what that means, uh, that's okay. Do not Google it. But that's how my day is going. So, you know, uh, you still got to get a show though. I still got to make you one of these. So if you're sitting there and you're like, wow, he's really acting like he just like, I don't know, expressed the dog's anal glands or something, got dog poop all over him. That's because I did. Okay. All right, so first thing that we're going to cover for the day, story numero uno, and this has been in the news for the last couple of days, but I sort of wanted to sit and wait, let it simmer. I wanted to see just how big of a problem it was going to become. And really, <laughs> I'm glad that I waited until the day that I got poop all over me and I was mad enough to talk about it. So you might have seen this. There's a bit of a problem with AirPods Max. In fact, you might not have just seen it in the news. If you have AirPods Max, this might also be happening to you. See this? You see this picture? You, you want to know what that is? That's, uh... That's sweat. Or, I'm sorry, according to the articles, um, condensation. And really, that's probably what it is because metal and physics and stuff, but it's still, it's still so gross, man. So it seems to be happening regardless of temperature. It just sort of depends on how long you wear them. Users are saying that after they wear them for a prolonged period of time, condensation is building up inside the metal ear cups. Now, science says that something like this happens because the ear cups, well, they're metal, aluminum to be exact, and when you just leave them out, the aluminum gets cold, but inside the ear cups when it's on your head and inside those memory foam ear cups, uh, that gets warm and hot, and then the warm and the hot meet with the cold metal, and then boom, you have this. Congratulations. You're gross now. Oh, but you you don't understand physics. That's not even a good explanation of what's happening. Shut up. Okay, I make fart jokes on the internet for a living. I'm not a science teacher. Who do I look like? Captain Planet? What? That, all right, that, that didn't make any sense. But other than just being, you know, gross, there are other problems that will come or likely come because of this. Number one, AirPods Max are not water resistant. In fact, this is the opposite of that. This is not water resistant. This is just instant. Because this happens, it just collects water. I'm sure over time that will have a big impact on the hardware and cause something somewhere inside to fail. That's what happens. Water, technology, electronics inside stuff, not good. And as far as I know, Apple had no idea that this was gonna be a thing. You saw me report at least a few times that Apple was having issues in the testing stages for AirPods Max. Those issues included stuff with the headband or issues with the touch capacitive ear cups, all things that had to be fixed before they released them. And sweaty swamp ear cups were not on the list. After all the issues that Apple had in production for AirPods Max, and after how long they ended up being delayed, there is no excuse for this. How did you guys not know? Out of all the testing that you guys did, how did nobody think before you released them to just, oh, I don't know, maybe I'll put them on my head for a few hours and see what happens. I mean, what did you think? Did you think users were just gonna wear these for about as long as my sex lasts and take them off after 90 seconds? A really good 90 seconds. But still. And what do you even do about this? I mean, some users are just outright returning their AirPods Max because Apple's not saying anything about this. I guess at the very least, make sure you get Apple Care Plus in case something goes wrong with them because of the water that's inside of them. But what do I know? It is a flaw with the materials of a product that is already out. There's no way that they can make this better until version two. No software update is gonna fix this. So until we get a version two of these things or maybe that cheaper sport variant that's supposed to come out whenever, uh, I guess we're just stuck with our kiddie pool ear cups. All right, so next, let's talk about AirTags. Um, for this, you're gonna need a little bit of context though. Back in September of 2020, I leaked the final design for Apple's tile-like tracker devices, AirTags. Now, along with giving you that final design, I also said that they are about the size of a bottle cap and don't feature any native way for you to attach them to things. 
Instead, I said this. Keychain sold separately. <laughs> nope. Not kidding. You'll be able to buy a keychain that has a little leather pouch on it that you can just slip your air tag into. Since they don't have their own mounting system, technically, you might have to buy a keychain, right? But the keychain wouldn't have to be from Apple, right? I mean, yes, of course, Apple will sell their own accessories for air tags, but this now opens the door for third party accessory makers to make little pouches, cases, and keychains for air tags. And now, it seems we have exactly that. Nomad, a third party accessory maker, is apparently working on a leather keychain that you can slip your air tag into. Now, what you're seeing is a render that Nomad has apparently made as part of their 2021 product schedule. So this isn't like a final thing that is made. This is just a render for a thing that will be made. I will say, uh, without mentioning any names, of course, that several accessory makers have reached out to me for exactly this because they're working on an accessory for air tags like a keychain and they would like my uh my um input and if nomad would have reached out i would have told them that their initial render design is wrong because the air tags are round not whatever shape this is and though this is like the first third-party accessory that we've seen being made for air tags like a keychain from somebody else another manufacturer like i told you back in september apple will sell their own i've obviously seen them but i was asked not to share the images that i have so this is the best example of it that i've seen online this is 100 legitimate this is real. I mean, at this point, I just want it to be over with. I just want Apple to finally release AirTags. They have been putting these things off for as long as I have been putting off confronting my own emotional baggage. How fun. All right, so last up, let's talk about iPhone 13 and dim displays, though. So as you know, we're supposed to be getting 120 hertz, at least on the Pro model. So on the 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max. And now we're hearing that it's going to be exclusively made from Sammy. So in previous reports, we heard that the LTPO OLED panels that were coming to the 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max were going to be made by Samsung and LG. But a new report coming from the ELEC, which they say a lot of things, so I don't know. I don't know how, how accurate this is, but it's being talked about in the news, so we gotta cover it here, of course. They say that Samsung will be the one and only supplier for these OLED, specifically LTPO OLED panels for iPhone 13. Now, there's a couple things that we can take away from this report. Number one, if you want 120 hertz, it looks like you're definitely getting that. Samsung making it means it'll be a high quality display panel. With past iPhones, they've had some issues with LG manufactured OLED display panels. So Apple deciding to only go with Samsung this time means we likely won't have issues like that. But also, uh, Samsung displays for Apple are expensive. And this is after we heard that the phones that they just put out were more expensive to make than the ones in the previous year. And that, my friends, is where the bad news comes in for me. Because if this report is accurate and they are exclusively using Samsung display panels for those models, the 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max, and they're not cutting corners or at least trying to cut corners by using somebody else for a portion of the panels like LG or BOE, that means I'm gonna go out on a limb and predict that these phones will be more expensive than they were this year, last year, 2020. It doesn't matter what year we're in. It's all the same. It's all mushing together. I mean, the iPhone 12 was more expensive to make, right? And we saw the price for that phone go up. So I'm kind of worried that the same thing is going to happen for the 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max. But you know what? It doesn't matter because you nerds have been wanting 120 hertz for so long, so badly that you will break open that piggy bank and dump everything out and give them anything they ask for just so you can finally have it. You know what's really cool about deals? You get money off. But what's better than getting money off? How about getting money off from the money off? Our sponsor, WeVPN, is still running their Christmas deal, giving you 62% off 
plus one month free, breaking down to just three bucks a month. And if you check out using the promo code FPT, you'll even get money off of the money off. Save an extra 10% just for being an FPT viewer. Protect yourself online, keep yourself secure across all of your devices, stream and access media from anywhere. Also, it's the fastest VPN I have ever used. So even if you already are using a VPN, it's time to make the switch. Click the link down in the description below to get WeVPN with a Christmas deal with an extra 10% off. And that's the show. Hopefully you liked it, you learned something. If you did, hit the like button. If you hate my stupid face, the dislike button. That works too. If you're new here, subscribe. Guys, girls, have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday.